just the emergency responder market is something like about $3 billion addressable market. We have the ability to start serving logistics customers. So that's what we provide them is that accurate information and that forward looking information allows them to make decisions in advance of running into problems. So you are innovating in the space of predicting what path to go and avoid uh, delays. But who are really the economic customers, if you like? Yeah, so in fact, just, just the emergency response part of this market is, is fairly significant based on the price that we're charging right now for the usage. Just the emergency responder market is something like about $3 billion addressable market. For the first response application, it's the government. And that's, that alone is a $3 billion opportunity. So that's uh, one of the things that we've, we've focused on because of the high value. It's an urgent solution with a high value um, in saving lives. And then at the same time as we're building that out, we have the ability to start serving logistics customers. And those customers are Amazon, FedEx, UPS, United States Postal Service, and the a whole plethora of transport carrier companies that have systems in place now, which help them do the routing, but do not have this piece of information. We have been using Google Map for a number of years. So now you're coming up saying that, no, that doesn't work really well. Why Google cannot predict to the extent that you can do? There's you know a couple different other solutions. So Google, then there's schedules and there's satellite data, but none of them have the detailed information required. Now, if we think about just Google, for example, they get their information by collecting it from people who have their mobile devices on their person. And so in order to understand the traffic flow at an intersection using their methodology, you have to have a significant number of people that are moving through that intersection to be able to tell whether the flow is increased or decreased or changed. And so unless you have that flow of, of persons with their connected devices, you don't have the information. And that turns out to be most of the roads in the United States. Google works great in congested areas and it solves the problem of understanding congestion when there's other vehicles because that's what it does best. But it doesn't work where it's 2 a.m. in the small town and the train is blocking the intersection that the ambulance needs to get to address their patient. So most of the cases in intersection in the United States are not helped with that type of piece of information. And so what we do is we have the information based on our sensor data, which gives us high accuracy, but then a step further for the first responders, what's important for them isn't the history of like, hey, what's, how, what is the history of the congestion at inter intersection? What they need to know is if they're leaving the firehouse now and they need to go to a patient that's four minutes away and suppose there's a train two minutes away, they need to know now whether or not they're gonna be blocked in two minutes with that train so they can take a different route. And so that's what we provide them is that accurate information and that forward looking information allows them to make decisions in advance of running into problems.